What up everybody? The picture I currently have on the screen is a season 3 Raising Canaan image of Detective Malcolm Howard sitting in a silver car doing a stakeout with his partner, Detective Shannon Burke. Now this picture that I have on the screen is from the Raising Canaan episode 1 teaser. And you'll notice the same car with what appears to be a gunshot going off. And if you look close at the car, it does look like Burke and Howard. And they're still in the same spots from the previous picture. So it looks like Detective Howard finally gets fed up with Burke digging into his business and cancels Christmas on his nosy partner. And ultimately, the reason he did this is to protect his son, Kanan. Because Burke had started to figure out all of Howard and Brock's past secrets. Burke had figured out that Howard did undercover work from 1974 to 1976. And during that time, he got pregnant a 16-year-old Raquel Thomas. She also figured out that this was connected to Howard getting shot and learned that Kanan was the one who shot his own father. Also keep in mind, season one, Kanan put out the bag crack that killed all those people. Burke wanted to take Kanan in, but Howard told her he needed to do some private investigating first. And this was just Howard's first time covering up one of his son's crimes. He also made a big mistake telling Rock that Scrappy was a snitch that cost Scrappy his life, either though he was loyal and it was actually his mom who was the snitch. Howard is also responsible for Sam the crackhead getting killed. Sam actually witnessed the whole shooting, but was so high at first he couldn't get his story straight. But then he saw Howard and Kanan together at the precinct and connected the dots. Burke got word of this and was doing all she could to get Sam's statement. But Howard told Rock that Sam was a problem. And Rock sent Marvin to get his Reggie Jackson on before Burke was able to get to Sam. So we can see that Howard is willing to do whatever he has to do in order to protect his son. But one thing to keep in mind is... What is going to be the fallout of Burke's death? Because after Howard was shot, the cops went crazy, pulling people over, searching everywhere, illegally at that. So will the fallout of Detective Burke be the same? But also keep in mind, Howard is one of the most beloved cops in the NYPD, while Burke is a rookie that nobody really even respects. But she does have family history of cops though. And one thing I'm also wondering is, did Howard kill Burke in a way that made it look like she took her own life in the same way that Rock killed Scrappy? Because being in that car, it is a possibility because he was shooting her at close range. But Rock had a legitimate excuse for Scrappy killing himself, that he was depressed about only having one eye. Does Howard got the same kind of motive for Burke? And I think he might. Also keep in mind that there's also another promo clip out there of Burke being questioned by Internal Affairs. During this conversation, they are again putting the blame on her for Nicole's death. And they were talking about how she got Laverne Thomas out of two separate charges. Then they said that Burke got a kid named Andrew Gordon out of a shoplifting charge at the six. Now we know about Nicole and we know about Jukebox. But who is this Andrew Gordon kid that Burt got out of a shoplifting charge? The only thing we know about him from that conversation is that he is a minor. What is the chances that this is one of the kids who was with Kane and D. Wiz and Famous when they shot Buck 20? Because we haven't seen anything from those kids since. And Burke gets the kid to snitch on Kanan. That might not be the exact kids or the exact story. But it does seem like that would be her motive for getting a kid out of a shoplifting charge. Trying to get more information about something. But anyway, Howard could possibly use the fact that Burke was under investigation to make it look like she took her own life. Also keep in mind at the end of season 2... Burke was roughing up Kanan, questioning him, and she was even about to take him into custody by planting some crack on him before Kanan knocked her over and ran off. When he ran off, he went to tell Howard what was going on, and Howard wanted to talk to Rock about it. 
This was where season two left off with Kanan and Howard pulling up to see Rock and Unique walking out and that Rock had been shot. So most likely because of these circumstances, Howard wasn't able to connect with Rock to come up with a plan for Burke. But it came down to where he had to just take matters into his own hands. Also keep in mind that in season two, Howard had rededicated his life to Islam. And he was trying to do the best he could after getting a second chance at life. He had even given up smoking after all those years. But now that Howard has caught a body, everything is about to be different. And it's making me to ask the question, was this Howard's first body? If I was guessing, Howard had probably killed before, but it was most likely in the line of duty. So this will be Howard's first real body that he could actually get in trouble for. And also, before learning Kanan was his son, Howard was very dedicated to his police work and even called himself the Reckoning at one point. But after learning he has a son and getting shot, his whole perspective has changed and it looks like he's going to put that same energy into protecting his son moving forward. And this could be a major piece for Kanan moving forward as he moves up the ranks in the drug game. To have a detective on his side. But only if they can keep their relationship secret. And Howard survives that long. Because I do feel like he still has a target on his back from Rock. But I also think Howard is going to be around for a minute. Because one thing about Kanan from OG Power. Was that he was always playing chess in his spare time. So far in raising Kanan. We only see Kanan playing video games. But keep this in mind. That when Kanan was at Howard's, Howard had a chessboard on his table. So I think Howard will be the one to teach Kanan how to play chess and also to start thinking strategically out in the streets. And there you have it. Howard kills Burke. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.